I always find the best way to tell the difference between trees that have on their own what look like similar leaves is when you see them together. This is an elm tree leaf and it's soft and kind of furry and fuzzy. I don't know if you can hear that. Whereas this is a beech tree. It's smooth, a very smooth leaf. And you can see the back, the veins stick out and are uh, kind of a, in a contrast with the leaf structure. Whereas a beech leaf, they don't. They're much wider apart and um, not so predominant. And you can see the shape difference. Okay, this has been nibbled a little bit, but it has this incredible point to the leaf. Whereas the beech tree doesn't. The spring green of the elm is kind of a bit darker. Here's a young leaf. Okay, it's eaten a bit, but you can see the difference in the beech tree and the elm tree. So these two trees, now the elm tree has had a horrendous time with the Dutch elm disease since the 1970s. And I remember we used to have loads of elm trees here on the farm. And as a child, they were all dying and dead. Look at this. Those are leaf cutter, probably leaf cutter um, bees doing that, which is a good, it's a good sign to know we have leaf, leaf cutter bees here on the farm. So these trees, as mature trees, the elm tree is nearly extinct. They only live till, if you're lucky, up to 30 years and then they die of Dutch elm disease. Whereas the beech tree doesn't have that illness. I'm hoping this one, this is a small one, it's probably about eh, 20, 25 years old, might live. Its, uh, it's trunk is uh, right there, is that, that's its trunk. And it's next to this beech tree as well. So that's the difference between a beech tree and an elm tree. You can see the difference in tonal greens even just from a slight difference that they're two different trees and two different species.